During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk about how to find compaction in your field or garden. You know, it's one thing on a very dry year to say, man, it just feels firm out here. The ground feels really hard. But what we're talking about here with compaction is when you've got hard soil, even down in a little ways, like maybe a few inches deep, there's just a hard layer that the root system can't penetrate through. So when we've got a compacted soil like that, it's important to diagnose what's going on out there, where that compaction layer is at, and then what are you going to do about it? Okay, if you want to get technical with this, you could get a tool called a penetrometer and you push that into the ground in different areas. Look at the reading that you're getting off of that penetrometer and once you get up into the 200 or 300 range you know you've got some problems. Now certainly like Darren said in a dry year the ground might feel a little hard. When the soil is dry you're going to get higher readings. In other words, the ground is going to feel a lot more firm. Whereas when the ground is wet, it's very easy for anything to penetrate down through it, including roots. But nevertheless, we want to find out where these hard compacted layers are at and how bad are they? Well, if you've watched Ag PhD, you've probably seen a root pit here or there. Where we've dug a big hole in the ground and then looked at four feet or five feet of the soil profile. And you say, well, I'm definitely not doing that in my garden, what are some other ways that I could find compaction? So now, real quick, if you're in a big situation, big field, for example, and you want to dig a hole like that, it's awesome because all you have to do is take a knife, something with maybe a four inch long blade, and you pull up through that, and all of a sudden you can feel resistance as you're trying to pull the knife through the soil. Well, you can do the same thing on a smaller scale with something like a post hole digger. Just take a post hole digger and dig a hole down a few feet into your soil and then reach your arm down in the hole and stick the knife in the side and pull up and just wait until you feel some difference in resistance. So maybe it's pulling nice and easy and all of a sudden you just can hardly move the knife there's your compacted layer. Now just make a note of where that's at and what the depth is at and you can start doing some analysis as to well how did that layer get there and what can I do about it. And real simply you could just carry along a spade. That's what Darren does all the time just poking down to find if there are compaction layers. Yeah I like to use a tile spade. It's long and it's skinny and you can do a little bit of digging if you want because oftentimes where we're going to see this compaction is in the top 12 inches of soil and more commonly in the six to eight inch range if there's been some tillage done. Now we mentioned garden, not just field, but garden situation. One of the things that we see in a garden and a common mistake that's made is the tiller. A tiller is used at the same depth every year, using the exact same tool at the exact same setting year after year after year. And what happens is you're pulverizing the top few inches of soil and just below that all the fines are settling out and you're creating a hard pan right underneath the depth of that tillage. So for example in your garden let's just say you find a hard layer at about five or six inches deep. Check your tiller I'm kind of guessing you're going to be in that five to six inch range with that tiller. All right, so real quickly, vary your tillage depth. Make sure you have good levels of calcium in your soil. This will also help reduce compaction issues out there. Stay off your ground as much as you can when it's wet. Make sure you have good drainage using tile. And you do those things, and usually you can minimize the amount of compaction that's out in your field. You're never going to eliminate compaction. But the key thing here is we want roots going deep so they can get more moisture and nutrients deeper in the soil. Well, compaction is certainly a challenge in many fields, but so is our Weed of the Week. Can you identify this week's weed? 